welcome to Optimal Game State. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to be talking about Legions Imperialis and I'm going to talk about how much it costs now. GW and pricing isn't something that we normally talk about. And the reason is normally the pricing is batshit crazy. It's typically very expensive. That's just the nature of things. So, and not just me, often you'll find reviewers when they're talking about it, they'll just skip over the pricing. That is what it is. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about Legion's Imperialis of pricing, but only because I want you, someone who's interested in this game, to be ready for what you're getting in for. Because this can get quite pricey. So this is the starter box that will be out for pre-order on Saturday. Um, and then we should see it physically in hand, I think, two weeks after that. Currently, GW seems to be doing two weeks uh, pre-orders. So I'm recording this on Monday the 13th. Um, so it's, yeah, basically another three weeks before uh, I should be able to get my hands on one of these. It is actually a really good deal. Um, and... By that, we're doing it by GW prices, so obviously everything's a bit weird. GW value is strange when you sell things for so much markup or so expensive. Even getting a little bit of a discount feels like a bargain. Um, so in this case, £120, pounds, €150, Euros or $200. Based on the pricing, it does look like you get um, that you're basically paying for all of the units in the front. And then those two warhounds and all of the tokens and the rule book and the dice and all that extra stuff, you're basically getting that for free. So it's a pretty good deal. Now, this box is split. Uh, it's split between the Legion of Startes and the Solar Auxilia. So your infantry and your tanks are split, split, split across two different factions. You can mix factions but you can only have 30% different. Um, and that's important because in this case, the two Warhound Titans are actually, um, are, are in neither faction. So the Titan Legions are doing their own thing. If you want to include them in your Space Marine Army or your Solar Auxilia Army, you need to account for them within that 30% of points. The total points of this box come to somewhere between 1.5 and 1.8k is the estimate. The recommended points for an army is 3k. That means if you want to buy this box and play with a Legion's Imperialis, no, with a Legions of Startes force versus a Solar Auxilia force, just from this box, at 3k, you don't buy two boxes, you buy three, four. You buy four boxes, yes. Um, so it's 1.5, 1.8 is actually for the entire box, and you split that in half to get um, what is in the, in the actual faction itself. Um, so yeah, I guess if it's 1.8, if it's 1.8, then half of that's like 0 0.9, 3 times 0 0.9. If you're still not going to get the 3k, you need four boxes. Simple as. Okay, so let's have a quick look and see what else we have, just so we kind of get an idea of what the price points are like. So first up, we got the rule book. You can get it separately. It's $60. It's $200 for the uh, the main box. You're probably going to just get the main box. And unless you've got a really specific idea on how you want to do your legions, and you're just not interested in having extra plastic. So if I go back, if you just want to do a Space Marine Force and you didn't want to touch the Solar Auxilia at all, you, yeah, you could go down the line where instead of spending $200 on this, you spend $60 on just the rule book. And then I think it's maybe $50 on some Imperial Legions. I keep saying Imperial Legions, on a, a Legion's Astartes infantry set. 
So it'll be what, 60, and then another 50, another 50. You beat 160 if you doubled up those. You still don't have any tanks. Um, so yeah, it's, it's certainly root. probably worth investigating if that is what you're thinking about. But probably buying this first box initially is probably a good idea. Okay, so yes, we've got the rule book. We've got um, some extra cards. I don't know how big these are. These could be tiny, they could be really big. Either way, $33.50 means it's probably not gonna to be too much expensive um, in sterling or euros by comparison. These kind of things tend to be limited runs. So it's, and personally, and if you follow this channel at all, you realize I love card aids for playing the game. I find it makes it a lot easier to introduce new people. And just remember what you have yourself. So I will be buying these. I suspect these will go out of print quite fast. Okay, we're looking at one box here. So this is just a Legion's Astartes box. Got to write this down. Uh, and in it, we've got two command bases. So those are the guys with the flags. We've got two tactical detachments. So those are four bases of normal squads of um, Marines. We have two bases of Terminators, two of Assault Marines, two of Plasma Marines, and two of Missile Marines. So there's two ways you can you can use these. You can either add two of them to supplement a tactical attachment, um, or if you had four of the bases, which we don't with just one box, but if you had four of them, you could go ahead and um, make a just an assault marines or just a uh, terminators squad detachment okay so that's what we have here key points here is all of that comes to 244 points and you need 3k so if you were just to do it just via these boxes if we were to round it up to 250 so what's that it would be four times three we need to get 12 of these uh 50 dollars so 600 dollars and this is the problem this this is the problem here it takes a lot to actually get to the points you're talking about. So let's look at some more examples. Rhinos, okay, so this is, this is, again, it's a box. It only comes to a hundred points and this is a way to get your infantry out faster. So this is even less efficient cash wise, but you know, it's kind of thematic or kind of in keeping. Um, we, we have other options for them. Um, you can, you know, use some of the aeronautica craft like a Tundra gunship um, and we know that there are drop pods not in this release but in a later version of release all right something a little bit more chunky so tanks so as f this is what i'm expecting to be in a box the kratos is one of the larger tanks and um, so the ones that we actually have in the box for the space marines are the sicarians and predators and um, but yeah i think this is a box uh, so this in total comes to 300 points. And again, you're looking at uh, 30 pounds, 40 euros, $50. So if you were to just make a force out of this, you're looking at 10 uh, boxes, you're looking at $500. And you're getting the idea here. Tundra Rock Gunship, you know, it's another sport. Beautiful um, model, by the way. I have one myself. I got it for playing uh, in Aeronautica. Uh, it was a joy to put together. It was fantastic to paint, and I'm very, very proud of it. The scale is really, really, really good. Uh, it is very gentle to the painters, but uh, because the you know you don't have eyeballs to paint, you don't have um, a lot of detail. Now you can see on this one they've got a lot of rusting, they've got a lot of griming, but it all looks great. Um, and with with very little effort, you can actually get. Your, your force looking really good. It's a great scale for painting on. I'm, I'm a big fan. We also have uh, the Knights. So again, you can kind of see the prices here. Um, yeah, I think these were 180 each. So there's obviously in 40K, they'd be a really big kind of centerpiece model. So you can get a decent chunk out of this. You can get more out of the Reaver. So the Reaver is 415 points. And it's, you know, it's a big box, it's $60. And then if you want to go all the way up to the Warlord Titan, um, that's chunky. Now, what's interesting about this is if you go for Warlord Titan, that's 600 points. 
in a 3K game, that is 20%. So that leaves very little um, for anything else. So yeah, 10% of your total allied detachment section is tied up there. And even then, like it is chunky enough uh, cost-wise. So this is 90 euros. I have one stashed away from Titanicus myself that I need to work on. And it is a... It is a wonderful model to work on, but it is a modeling project. These are large, and they take a while to assemble. And they, yeah, they're about the same size as, um, yeah, the forty k version of the knights, essentially. And once you do them at this scale, but they are great. Uh, so typically, what you'll do is you'll assemble them without the outside plates. And then the in understructure uh, it gets done in like silvers and grimed up bit, and then you uh, spray the, the plate separately. Anyway, there are plenty of examples out there. We don't need to worry about it too much. Let's have a look here at uh, the recent white dwarf. So in this case, what I've tried to do is I've tried to count in boxes the three K points that they've got here. So at the top left, we've got a Kratos squadron. Now. If we're being generous and we assume there's six in the box, then that's one box. We've then got two Predator Squadrons. Um, we've got two Sicarian Squadrons. And at the top right, we've got a Xiphon Squadron. They used to come in boxes of six, um, but you're going to have to buy six if you want three. So, so right there, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So off to a pretty impressive start. Um, the Sky Hunter Phalanx is a bunch of bikes. I think it's likely that that is probably two boxes there in that section. So that brings up eight. Um, the Reaver Titan, we know already, is about $60 uh, dollars compared to the cheaper versions of what you'd normally be looking at. I'd say, I've been saying the $50, so okay. We can call it an extra, extra one, an extra two maybe? That would bring it to 10. Now, the section we have below here is a little bit trickier. I think we probably have two infantry boxes, maybe three. And then, so that's 13. And then the fire raptors brings us to 14. And then the drop pods either bring us to 15 or 16. So I have put down 20 here as an initial estimate. I think that's probably a bit too high because I think I was overestimating how many uh, of those bikes would, you know, how many boxes you would need to get all of that. But I mean, if you look at it, that is still pretty chunky. What did I say? Was it 15, 12, 15 something? And um, even if it's just 12, like at $50 per box, 12 of them. <sighs> yeah, you're looking at like $600 for one army and no scenery. Let's look at the other example. So here we've got, uh, there's two Legion commands, so those are just single, single bases. We do have the batteries and dreadnoughts. Now I know we did have a, uh, yeah, there was a tiny fire support incoming for Legion's Imperialis article on War Community, which showed the contents of one of these boxes. So we know that you can get what essentially is two different types of dreadnought and eight of those in total, along with, you know, tarantula and what was the other? One of the other batteries. Oh, I have it here. Um, no, I didn't. Uh, rapier uh, batteries. So we know you can get a chunk of those all together in a single box. So I kind of simplify things a little bit, but th so those two batteries and two of those dreadnought attachments are going to come into one box. So that's going to be one, two, uh, three for the Raptors, another four for the um, Rhinos. Uh, then we've got some tanks. So the Kratos, we've got four of them total spread across two each. So at five, Predator six, Xiphon seven. Uh, then we've got two Sicarians that are split up, I think. It'd be eight. There's a Storm Eagle, nine. If we look at the Emperor's Children. Uh, I 
There's more predators, 10 more rhinos. Let's assume we have enough from the bitter box. Uh, let's assume you get enough. No, that's sort of more than that. Uh, so it's another two, so up to 10 tacticals. Reaver, 11. And then whatever they've got in that auxilia section, which I think is probably another two or three boxes worth. So we're probably looking at, again, getting close to 15. So maybe me putting 20 here is uh, an overestimate, but we're still getting to a chunky, chunky point. And this is what I'm trying to say here. I am not saying this game is too expensive. I am not saying do not play this game. I am saying be aware of what you're getting yourself in for. Recommended size is 3K. It looks like for 250 points or so, you're probably going to be spending 30 pounds, 40 euros, or 50 dollars. Um, and then building up out of that. In addition to these armies, you are going to end up with extra options. You know? These two armies are very, very different, and chances are you are going to want a little bit of flexibility. You are going to want to be able to move things around and uh, have options. Don't forget, you are essentially playing three separate games here. So you've got Titanicus, you've got Aeronautica, and now you've got the new uh, Legions. We've already got a massive backlog of miniatures just from Titanicus and Aeronautica. And this is adding to it. Um, and yeah, we're going to have tons of options that you can kind of play from. In addition, we've got scenery. Now the scenery kit on the left is the destroyed buildings option. This is a classic. It's good for one very specific reason, and that's that you can get more terrain covered with less plastic when they're ruins rather than full buildings. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's yeah, that, that's something that you'll see across all systems. On the right hand side we've got the old box from Titanicus, but this is what is going to be released. So this is the Civitas Imperialis and the Stratum sector. Um, they have announced that this one is going to be going up. It is going to be going up for almost as much as um the Legion Imperialis box. So Legion Imperialis box, I think, is £120, and this box is £100. But this box is packed, absolutely packed, with scenery. Um, so these are all old kits from Titanicus. There's two kits in here, essentially. Um, one is the spires, which is the stuff you're seeing at the top, and then the main buildings which you're seeing at the bottom. This one doesn't have the Manufactorum bits and pieces, which is also another fantastic set. Um, but this box does have multiple sprues and multiple versions of uh, the buildings such that you get more content for, you get more bang for your buck. You know, you are, you are making a save. You are making a GW saving. So I do think this one is going to sell out fast. It's probably one to keep your eye on if you are interested in Titanicus uh, or Legion Imperialis now. Um, scale scenery so epic scale scenery obviously there are 3d printers and there are other options out there but this gw stuff is actually quite good maybe not the tiles and the reason maybe not the tiles is you get six one foot by one foot tiles in each of these packs they are 75 pounds 90 euros 150 dollars um, and you need four boxes to get to the 20 tiles you need for the recommended board size of five foot by four foot. That's insane. That is that is crazy money. Um, yeah, I don't know. I understand that it's a big chunk of plastic and you know, GW makes so much money off each pound of plastic that they're trying to get their cut here. And um, they used to have big resin boards, which were absolutely beautiful, but you know, insanely expensive. I feel like we are going to have a lot of people who are going to buy these up and are going to enjoy them and, you know, good for them. But this one is a little bit too pricey for my taste. I am going to stick with a much cheaper neoprene mat that's already pre-done. I won't have to worry about uh, painting them up, which, you know, 
that hobby element by itself is rewarding in its own right. But yeah, I'm going to be giving this one a pass. All right, let's sum all of this up. So <laughs> Saturday's going to come around and we are going to have pre-orders. We are going to see a pretty good deal in the main box. But if you're listening to this video right now and you already have the kind of tokens and dials and bits and pieces that you feel like you would need, and you have an idea of what army you want to go for. So personally, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to build a Space Marine army. What I would like to do is I would like to do um, Imperial Fists facing off against Iron Warriors. It is a classic. Um, but I'm not really going to have much space for the Solar Auxilia. Um, what I can do is I can take that Solar Auxilia section and have it on either side as... Um, extra bits and pieces so that's that's one way to use the main box uh, i also do have in my titanics collection i've got four warhounds currently so adding an extra two warhounds would round up both up to three which is a good size for for warhounds uh, so i i build i i'm working on two titanicus armies rather than just the one and that particular project is like this one. It has scales out of control. Um, but we do it, you know, one day at a time, one one year, one one month. And um, we take it, we take it carefully and slowly, and we'll get where we're going. And, and that's what we're trying to do here. And but yeah, we might it might be more sensible to uh, pick up the rule book separately um and you know pick and choose uh, the, the units that we're looking for. Um but it, overall, it is it is a relatively good deal. If maybe if you're not sure, if you think that um, you know the contents of the box kind of look good, you don't have any problem with it. Yeah, definitely go for it. It is a good value and should get us started in. Anyway, point here: if you buy the box, it's not going to stop there. You've only got a tiny fraction of what you need. You're probably going to need to invest quite heavily quite quickly if you want to get this game on the table by you know christmas it's doable and um, but it would be very expensive and i wouldn't recommend it i think that what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up playing very small size games maybe initially 1k aside and we'll try out the rules we'll test it we'll see if we like it if we do then we will slowly, maybe one box a month, add to it. And over time, we will develop this into a big, massive, city-spanning war game that we are seeing in these battle reports and that we will no doubt see on Warhammer TV or you know wherever they show it. On Saturday, we're going to see a lot of uh, content creators revealing you know the box that they've got and all the cool stuff that they they got for free but we're gonna have to pay for it so keep all that in mind i don't want to discourage you from getting involved in this because the game looks like it's gonna be fantastic and um, the it does have that combined arms element you know certain weapons work better against certain things you want infantry holding buildings like it, it it does feel like a big proper war game in ways that Warhammer 40k has never felt for me. Warhammer 40k has always felt a bit more like a skirmish. This looks like it could be, you know, a big battle unfolding right in front of us, replaying something from the Horus Heresy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it, but my bank balance is... So keep all that in mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this format. I'm trying something new today. My audio might be a little bit uh, choppier than usual. Um, so please do post some comments. Tell me what you think. Is this a game that you're interested in getting into? Um, and do you have any recommendations? Have you looked at how you're going to start in? What box are you going to pick up? And what approach are you going to take? All right, I'll leave you on that. Have a great day. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Each week I put up a new video talking about one of Games Workshop's specialist games. The goal is always to try and make the best possible two-player experience. If this is something you'd find interesting, please subscribe to the channel and comment to let me know what you'd like to see in future.